for joining us this evening on TKO8 Local News. Well, it was a short night for members of the Boone County Quorum Court as they met in their regular monthly meeting for June. Justices spent less than an hour getting all the business of the county in order. One standout for the night came from the presentation from Harrison's Mayor Dan Sherrill asking the county's support in endorsing the city's upcoming special election in regards to extending two city specific taxes. Uh, actually, uh, thank you all for having the city here to actually present this presentation to you. We have a PowerPoint. Mr. Wade Phillips is here, our uh, public works director. We're missing uh, actually Mr. Luke Biker, he's our CPA and uh, finance director. So I'm gonna kind of fill in for him a little bit tonight. So don't hit me too hard with numbers. He's an expert. Uh, I ran mine, so uh, so we'll get started. Actually, this presentation is about 20 minutes long, so if you want to take a nap, uh, <coughs> no. Believe it or not, this is very important. First off, I'm going to say is this is not a new tax. Period. It's a renewal of the current tax we have. Uh, there's two different taxes here. One is a quarter cent general fund. One is a half cent infrastructure tax. They're both be on the ballot separately. So they, other, other than that, they, they don't have ties to them. Our infrastructure is actually, it formatted, but we spend that money. The general fund tax is not. It goes into the general fund and it's the only tax that the city has that goes directly into the general fund. That four cent tax is the only tax that we get directly into the general fund. Now we get 35% of the county. We do get that. And a lot of other revenues come in, you know, property taxes and you name it. We have several different revenue sources. But that tax is the only actual city tax that we have that goes into the general fund. It produces about a million one. So I'll get started here, Wade. Are you gonna? I'll have to turn around here. For, can everybody see those screens? Or am I in the way? I'm in the way. Uh, can you go back here one way? Just a second. I'm sorry. Actually, this Harrison Renew Our Future. Our staff came up with that logo. Uh, you will see that logo probably around many places in town. Uh, we've got the chamber on board there. You know, the city cannot spend money for advertising. So we've got the chamber on board and we've got the fire department, the FOP, the entire police, uh, police officers and different <coughs> actually factions in the city that's actually doing that signage. So there'll be no funds out of the city whatsoever spent on signage. And promotion. Now we can't on our website. Y'all know we can't say vote for and all that stuff like that. We just can't do it. But uh, we have linked our website. This presentation, uh, Mr. Phillips has made a actually a private presentation. It's off site. It's not. You can't go to the city and look and take. You can see the complete proceedings of uh, both our on both our Facebook page and our website of the Boone County Quorum Court. You can go to our TK08.com. The Arkansas State Medical Board has lifted its suspension of a flipping doctor's medical license after child pornography charges were dropped. The board suspended Lee Gibson's license in February after he was arrested on charges of distributing, possessing, or viewing matter depicting sexually explicit conduct involving a child. Marion County Circuit Court records list the charge as being dropped at the request of the prosecutors on May the 24th. A notice on the board's website listed the license suspension as being lifted effective on Monday. An Arkansas State Medical Board member spoke out about North Arkansas Regional Medical Center's decision to suspend the doctor's privileges at the last board meeting. Dr. Don Phillips said that uh, he finds it pretty despicable 
that the hospital did what they did. North Arkansas Regional Medical Center suspended Dr. Marcus Causey's uh, privileges in December, uh, meaning he could no longer deliver babies there, and his pregnant patients had to find other doctors. Causey told the state medical board members one of the reasons he was suspended was because the hospital felt there was delay in getting a patient to the operating room last April. The patient had complications after a C-section and had uh, more surgery and was resuscitated. Phillips said that he, uh, that he too, uh, as a obstetrician, uh, would have done exactly what was done there. The hospital Excuse me, the hospital recently reinstated Kazi's privileges but added conditions that Kazi says would have to be extremely, would have been extremely difficult to do. Kazi said the hospital's board of directors required a board certified OBGYN to be a monitor for six months and be present with any patient care. However, there are no board certified OBGYNs on staff at the hospital. 33-year-old David Hamilton of Summit, Arkansas, has been arrested and charged following a traffic stop by the Arkansas State Police leading to weapons and drugs being seized. A traffic stop was initiated after a trooper noticed the driver was not wearing a seatbelt. Upon making contact with Hamilton, the trooper spotted a black rifle in the passenger seat as well as a black revolver in the center console. The officer also located a clear glass pipe containing burn marks and white residue wrapped in a blue paper towel under the driver's seat. A clear plastic baggie containing five, five of the hydrocodone pills was also found under the driver's seat. Hamilton was charged with two felony counts of possession of firearms and single counts of possession of a Schedule II controlled substance. His bond was set at $2,500. 35-year-old Nathaniel Allen Speak of Calico Rock has been arrested and charged with domestic battery in connection with an altercation with his 66-year-old father. Izzard County Sheriff's deputies reported they responded to an assault after a caller advised her son had assaulted her husband. After the, at, after the scene was secure, medical staff were requested at the residence to provide aid to Speak's father, who reportedly had several cuts on his face and was transported to the Calico Rock Medical Center. Speak's mother also had what appeared to be a skin tear on her left arm. Speak is alleged to have pulled his father off the porch of the home and began beating on him. Speak is being held on a $15,000 bond. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some headline news from around the region as TK08 News continues. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. It's heating up earlier than usual this year, and I want to remind you to stay hydrated. Of course, drinking water is super important for hydration, but we also stock coconut water, electrolyte drink mixes, and even some supplements that may help. At Nature's Wonders, we understand that busy, active lifestyles demand quality products that are quick and convenient to help us feel our best. Come see us for your active lifestyle needs and find out how affordable healthy living can be. Nature's Wonders, next to Thompson's Ace Hardware in Harrison. Excuse me, an Arkansas safety panel has endorsed recommendations that favor arming school district employees who volunteer to undergo training and psychological testing. The Arkansas School Safety Commission has accepted its law enforcement subcommittees proposed strategy of using commissioned school security officers for the inclusion in recommendations to Governor Asa Hutchison, uh, who, uh, who indicated last month that he would like to see the program. The commission also accepted the proposed expanded use of school resource officers who are uh, armed law enforcement officers assigned to specific school campuses. Hutchison appointed the 18-member commission earlier this year after the February 14th school shooting that left 17 dead in Parkland, Florida. 
City Council meeting in one Poinsett County town didn't get the uh, didn't go the way that those who attended thought it might. Those in attendance expected uh, Police Chief Gary Hefner to make his case on why he should stay on with the Harrisburg Police Department. This comes after Mayor Randy Miles gave Hefner an ultimatum to resign or be fired after Hefner was suspected of sending sexual explicit photos with a woman on his city-issued phone. However, the city council uh, struck stuck to their agenda, which didn't include public comments, although one person was removed by police during that meeting. The investigation into a water department uh, continues in Hoxie. In April, Hoxie's mayor, Lanny Tucker, first revealed the investigation at a city council meeting. He says the city water department was under an active investigation. On Tuesday, Tucker would only say that improprieties had been looked into at that department. He has declined to explain what those improprieties may have been. The Arkansas Department of Human Services is appealing a ban on using an algorithm to allocate hours of home-based care to disabled Medicaid recipients. The department has filed a notice to appeal Pulaski County Circuit Judge Wendell Griffin's order to the state Supreme Court. Griffin ruled May 14th that the department didn't provide adequate public notice before adopting rules allowing the use of algorithms to award hours to participants in the AR Choices program. Department officials say the rulings leave them unable to enroll people in the program, which provides home-based services to disabled Medicaid recipients who qualify for nursing home placement. A hardy species of tick that survived the New Jersey winter has uh, infiltrated and now arrived in Arkansas, and experts are trying to figure out just how. The longhorn tick is native to eastern Asia, but was discovered in New Jersey last August and again this spring. Others were later found in Virginia and western Virginia, but no one can explain how one showed up on an Arkansas dog. Uh, Oklahoma State University researchers confirmed the discovery last week, and the Arkansas Agricultural Department last Monday warned ranchers to monitor their livestock. Ticks can spread disease in animals and, of course, humans overseas. Severe infestations have stunted growth in cattle and caused enough blood loss that cattle have actually died. However, Arkansas and New Jersey's health departments say they haven't found any disease-bearing longhorn ticks so far. Before we take a look at the steamy weather forecast as we move on through the work week, here's the way the stock market ended today. Another very warm and steamy day here in the Ozarks. Uh, again, those scattered showers and thunderstorms, particularly north of us and to the west, popping up during the afternoon hours, but they were not very frequent and they were uh, widespread. And again, you know, at some point in time, you may get a few sprinkles or you might even get a downpour. Doesn't last very long and usually it's in a specific area not very generalized. Well, that's the way it's going to be on again, off again throughout the week. It's that time of the year. The humidity is so high in most instances, that's what causes those little pop-up thunder showers. It's not a frontal system. It's just an isolated situation. Well, it's going to be a hot week throughout the week and get hotter on the weekend. Uh, tomorrow looks to be about like today, partly cloudy skies on Thursday, around 90 degrees. We were 89 degrees this afternoon. On Friday, again, partly cloudy skies up to 93 degrees. Saturday, isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon because of the humidity, only 30% chance and 91 degrees. Likewise, Sunday, thunderstorms on again, off again, 40% chance and 91 degrees. Kick off the work week on Monday, about the same. Thunderstorms, particularly in the morning hours, 88 degrees and 40% chance. So as you can see, when you're talking 30, 40%, they're very isolated and uh, most cases don't get a drop. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region as TK08 News continues. 
Inland Waste Solutions works diligently to be good stewards of the environment. Reducing waste via curbside recycling services, Inland Waste Solutions takes this mission seriously, but they need your help. When putting your waste and recyclables in their respective curbside containers, be sure that cross-contamination doesn't occur. Please only place recyclable materials in the yellow top bins. Check your recycling do's and don'ts list before you throw any item into the yellow top recycle bin. Together, we can make a difference. Inland Waste Solutions, local people serving local people in Harrison. Stop in at White Oak Station on Caps Road in Harrison and fill up with Shell Gasoline, the highest quality gasoline with more miles per gallon, saving you money. Sign up for the Fuel Rewards card and save five cents per gallon every time. Plus, get an extra five cents off on Razorback Wednesdays. That's a savings of 10 cents per gallon. Check out their expanded deli and hot and cold food items. Caps Road, White Oak Station, where customer service is their number one goal. Wizard County High School will host a golf tournament Saturday morning at the golf course on Turkey Mountain at Horseshoe Bend. The two-person scramble is scheduled to start at 8 a.m. with a shotgun start. The cost to enter is $100 per team. Cash prizes will be given for each flight based on the number of entries. Every hole will be a contest hole for prizes, including closest to the pin, longest drive, longest putt, and others. And the par threes hole will give away players the opportunity to win a hole-in-one prize sponsored by the uh, Bad Boy Moore Company. In addition, door prizes will be given away at the conclusion of that tournament. Well, Bomb Stadium hosted nine games during the NCAA Regional and Super Regionals over the past two weeks, welcoming more fans than any other ballpark in the nation, with just under 90,000 packing the stadium during the two rounds that they saw in Fayetteville. Arkansas advances to the program's ninth College World Series. Bomb Stadium was one of only five ballparks to host both the regional and the super regional and the only one to surpass 80,000 in total attendance. The Razorbacks open play in Omaha, Nebraska at the College World Series against the Texas Longhorns on Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. They'll be televised on ESPN. Joey Voto hit a base-loaded triple in the 10th inning after Billy Hamilton slipped one uh, on a rundown and the Cincinnati Reds beat the Kansas City Rolls 5-1. Hamilton got, uh, got hung up between third and home when the pitcher Kevin McCarthy tipped Tucker Barnhart's line drive with his glove. McCarthy picked up the ball behind the mound and threw home and Hamilton looked down until he sidestepped Achilles Escobar and the tag and dove back safely into third base to leave the bases loaded with one out. Eric Hosmer homered San Diego's bullpen took a perfect game into the sixth inning and the Padres beat the St. Louis Cardinals 4-2 for their 10th win in 14 ball games. Padres uh, reliever Matt Strom started the bullpen game and retired nine batters on 16 pitches, including four strikeouts. It was the team's third bullpen start this season, while left-hander Joey Lucas recovers from a right hip strain. Speaking of St. Louis, the St. Louis jury has ordered the NFL Rams to pay former running back Reggie Bush $12.5 million for a severe knee injury suffered at St. Louis's Dome Stadium in 2015, which was the team's final season before relocating to Los Angeles. The jury found the Rams liable for the injury. Attorneys for the Rams say they plan to file a motion for a new trial. Bush was playing for the San Francisco 49ers when he was injured. That wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. As we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Now stay tuned for more local events around the viewing area.